All right, to showcase the security issue, I have a brand new Laravel installation. We see, I called it LifeWire security. I hope that doesn't confuse you. And we're gonna add a bunch of users now. So we see we have these two users, user one and user two. I'm gonna try to make it bigger. Yeah, user one, user two. Okay. We create a new LifeWire component called user test component. We're gonna edit the welcome blade to include that component. So what we're gonna do in this component is we're just gonna display the email address of the user. For this we're gonna give it a, a user ID of one. And then we're gonna return the user to the view. Yeah. All right. And here we display it. Uh, user email this does work shows user one and now we come to the hacky part so i made it a little bit bigger and let's see can i like can i change the user let's actually make it a little bit more obvious uh i want to use your email but user email and user name because they're more different it's more obvious yeah this is user one. Now what I all I have to do is to access the private information by running this little script. I can change the user ID here. Yeah. Oh, I just got access to the what you would expect is private information of the other user. And then I could obviously go through all users and gather the data of all of them. So for me, that wasn't obvious, like, um, and for many others, it, it isn't either. So you can hack your way very easily into LifeWire, change things and get access to other information that you wouldn't expect that they can get access to. And the thing is, why is it not transparent? Well, I defined this to one. I didn't expect it that LifeWire doesn't know what it's displaying or what is able to change in the LifeWire component. If I give an input with a, with a field, with a user ID field, right? Then I would say, oh, that's expected that I can change it. But I expected LifeWire to basically not allow this unless it detects I want to do it. Yeah, so if I do this, uh, user ID, then I would expect it to, to change, be changeable, right? Oh. Yeah, so if I have this input here, oops, that's going to give error. If I go one here, it changes to one. If I go two here, it changes to two. The input is not necessary. Likewise, it's not checking on at all. Like what? <laughs> Likewise, it doesn't know anything, basically. So all you have to do is you can change things directly. All this public properties are not safe you know they're like easy to change so what can you do instead so you're not exposed to this and what i found out is if you actually define a model yeah this is a model my user i had this over the whole model this way i don't use the user id but the whole model <clears throat> and you try to change it it's actually going to give you an error. So it says you need a rule. You need to define a rule before you can change this. Okay. That, that's something, right? But say you, you define like one small rule. Does this have an effect? So I tried it out. I couldn't get it to work really. And it seems it's because they specifically try to avoid this. So you can only change what you give a rule for, yeah? 
which is, you know, that's something. So what else can you do if you have um, public properties that are like integers? I tried to set it to private to see if that helps, but private just means it's only available during mount, which is only when the, the component gets rendered the first time. Like all subsequent calls to updates are they're not gonna find this, yeah? So it means it's only available once, which is basically not what we want, yeah? So private or protected, my opinion, are off the table. So what I try now is I'm gonna use prohibited to see if that is gonna help us, this rule, prohibited, and see if that way we can avoid people changing it. And it doesn't help us, sadly. You can still change it. I'm not sure why the validation is not triggering. Let me see if I give the user ID using an attribute here, if that does anything. So passing it as property doesn't help either. By the way, I had to change the user, user ID variable because nobody on earth understands how the naming is done. It just doesn't work. If I do it like this, like the IDE recommended it, like if I do this. <clears throat> My IDE recommends this, right? User ID seems to be this. Code completes there. But it doesn't work. So it was very evil what they did with this naming. I'm not sure why. Just a waste of time. But it works if you just write it everything together like this. How about? So, but it doesn't help either. So basically, in my opinion, stay away from properties like integers uh, of um, models that you don't want users to be able to change. You could, you know, implement a updating command. <clears throat> updating user ID. And I'm not sure if it's actually this. So it is this one. And then say, oh, if value is different, throw an error. I'm pretty sure that would work. <laughs> Doesn't work either. Probably I made the naming wrong as well or update. Oh. There you go. So that would work too. But you know it's it's not very transparent. Uh, you cannot easily see whether you are not like you look at the component you open it are you safe or are you not safe you know so um that's all i got for you today okay so it is a security issue like i was speaking with people on the internet about it basically nobody knew this yeah everyone was talking about the checksum uh the checksum like you cannot manipulate the, the state on the client in the browser because there's a checksum but you can just call this function and like legally change the user id anyway and um, depending on what page you are on that basically opens uh, all doors and locks um, of your application so take that into consideration like so what i my takeaway from this is use models instead of um, IDs at all cost because the IDs are just like unsafe, completely unsafe. All right, that's all I got for you today, my guys. See you next time, uh, like, subscribe, you know, subscribe my dudes. We are a very premium, high quality circle of friends here. And uh, you can be one of them, you know, jo come on, join over, you know, we have fun, we have, 
<laughs> we're making goofy edgy videos you know memes whatever and um looking forward to hang out with you guys in the next video